Hello, you're welcome to the BNFT Digest, where we serve you with the top business stories that made headlines within the week. My name is Lily Pearl Baba O2, and in the headlines, government is preparing to outdoor the national airline with global resumption for air operations. ICUM's challenges troubling freight forwarders as ship owners have served notice they should be prepared to face the consequences. MP Sam Judge and Competition Advocacy Firm Cats Ghana are asking the NCA to tread cautiously with plans to curtail MTN's dominance. And 12 unions have threatened a strike action over low SNIT pension, but SNIT says that won't be necessary. We will tell you why. Now the news in details. Ghana wants to be strategic and glean some benefits out of the loss it is incurring in the aviation space with the partial closure of air borders globally. As a result, the Aviation Minister Joseph Kofi Ada has said that government is aggressively working to ensure the country's new national airline commences concurrently with a global resumption of air operations. This, he believes, will put the country in the position to ply very lucrative routes and give already existing airline good competition through innovation. No, we are still doing all the work we have to do. A number of proposals with funds offered, uh, they're going through the final stages. We all slowed down a bit because of the COVID-19, but it will, it will happen. We take the final submissions to cabinet and hear what they say. Uh, we believe strongly that if we get it done properly and we're ready, by the time this whole thing tapers off and we begin to start normal flight, whether it's end of the year, uh, and a member of Parliament's Committee on Communications, George Samuel Nate, has described as unfortunate the decision by the Ministry of Communications to direct the National Communication Authority to enforce the provisions of the Electronic Communications Act 2008 and the National Telecommunications Policy to address MTN's dominance in markets and revenue share of the sector. His position has been supported by the Country Director of Competition Advocacy Think Tank, Pax Ghana. They believe the move has the potential to halt MTN's investments in the sector, a move that might stop progress as it will take a long while for the other competitors to catch up. They want the NCA to tread cautiously to keep the sector vibrant and profitable as it contributes high taxes to the state. And in our next story, the Ghana Institute of Freight Forwarders has expressed displeasure about recurring challenges with the integrated customs management system since its inception in the country's sports. According to them, unresolved challenges with the system are taking a serious toll on their businesses. While it takes too long for some to clear goods from the post, others are not able to clear goods at all. This has resulted in the lockup of several goods, including COVID-19 drugs. Shipping lines in a letter to the Ghana Shippers Authority expressed similar sentiments and have alerted that there would be consequences for freight forwarders as vessels are being delayed at the ports over ICUMS challenges. But management of the ICUMS say they are aggressively fixing the system and assure smooth operations next week. The country may see its biggest labor unrest if measures are not put in place to settle the tangle between public sector unions and SNIT. This is because 12 public sector unions have given government a two-week ultimatum to address their concerns on low pension amounts paid by SNIT or they will lay down their tools. According to them, they have been inundated with complaints from pensioners on the meager amounts paid them when they proceed on retirement, hence their push for the increment. But SNIT has attempted to resolve the issue. A press release from SNIT stated that it has released about 59 million Ghana cities, which hits the accounts of about 20,000 pensioners, thereby bringing the matter of low pensions being paid pensioners to successful conclusion as agreed between government and sections of organized labor. And before we go, inflation has increased by 0.7 percentage points over the previous month as it recorded 11.3 percentage in May 2020. This is largely driven by food and non-alcoholic products, water, electricity and gas. And that's all we have for you on the top business stories that made headlines this week. Don't forget to grab a copy of the BNFT newspaper or visit us at the bftonline.com for more stories. You can also subscribe to our digital version and follow us on all our social media platforms. The BNFT Digest is sponsored by... We came to you from breakfast to breakfast on the Dr. Esther Oklu Street in Osu. My name is Lily Pearl Baba Otu. Have a lovely weekend.